All right, let's just jump straight into this because I know you guys are going to have a lot of questions about the future of NFL Pro era and what this new announcement from Status Pro means. Well, to cut out all the fat and all the introductions and everything, if you already own NFL Pro Era 1 or 2, you're going to get what I think they're calling the NFL Pro Era base game. And you're going to get basic things like core gameplay enhancements, includes the new season mode with updated rosters and everything, uh, free play mode, which is very new this year. With a new sports complex and a multiplayer hub, which if you go to the store right now, these pictures will be there. So status pro, don't sue me. You put these on the store and they put out like a whole list of a developer post, like basically all the information I'm going to go over in this video. What does this mean for the future of NFL Pro Era? Well, at least we have some good news that they're listening to the community and combining both their games, making just one game and not following the Madden structure of releasing a new game every year. A lot of players felt like from NFL Pro Era 1 to NFL Pro Era 2, they were paying for the same game, which is why this year they're giving you a free update and making you pay for the defensive mode and all that, which is new. Which, putting perfect world scenarios aside, I think this is a good idea because you don't have to pay for a new game this year. You're going to get the same game as last year updated with all the new stuff they're putting into it if you don't want to spend any money. However, if you do want to spend the extra $20, you get defensive mode and head-to-head -head mode, which I think they just mean the defensive head-to-head -head mode. I don't think they're taking away head-to-head -head from the NFL Pro Era 1 and NFL Pro Era 2 base game players. So again, there's the base game and the 2025 edition. I don't think I specified that at the beginning. And to jump away from this post for a second, in my personal opinion, I think this is going to work like, I don't know how else to explain it, but a Fortnite battle pass structure. They're going to have the 2025 edition then the 2026 edition, 2027 edition, and so on. And you're going to get a free update every year. You don't have to pay for these editions. I'm guessing, again, this is all speculation here, but I'm guessing every year now we're going to get a free update and if you want to spend the extra money on the whatever ever edition, I don't know what that's going to entail. Is it going to entail uh, cosmetics, new stadiums, maybe they get rights to the college teams and you get to unlock college gear, who knows? Again, this is a little bit of speculation here, so let's jump back to the facts. And the biggest fact everyone probably knows is the new cover athletes. We got CJ Stroud and Micah Parsons, which is cool. They're doing like a Madden 10 structure where they had, I think it was Troy Palomalu and Larry Fitzgerald. So they have the offensive and defensive side. And one of my favorite things they're adding this year is arms. I literally said this in a recent video before they even announced this. So I'm going to give this credit to me, but pro era has really good physics. But the problem with Pro Era is it doesn't have like a wide receiver mode. It doesn't have a online game mode they can play against people, which Big Ballers has. Again, you do the math, you combine those equations, and then boom, you have a good game. But I was saying they should team up with the Big Ballers team to get their arms or whatever arm assets they were using and then use their multiplayer structure. I don't know if they went with the multiplayer structure thing, but there's definitely arms this year if you look right here in this picture. It looks so much better than just the floating hands. I don't know why they didn't do this in the first place. I can maybe understand NFL Pro Era 1 not having arms, but NFL Pro Era 2 not having arms was, you know, a, a little bit of the drop of the ball there. I've never hidden my opinions on the past NFL Pro Era games. I think NFL Pro Era 2 was, I don't know, uh, I don't want to say a failure because if you didn't play NFL Pro Era 1 and stumbled upon NFL Pro Era 2, you'd be like, oh, it's a good game. But it was basically just a reskin of NFL Pro Era 1, which is why I think they're giving everyone a free update. So you're basically getting a free reskin this year, and you don't have to pay for it, which is nice. If we go here and look at this picture, you're going to see that there's free play customization this year. There's t-shirts, hoodies, and jerseys. So your free play player is going to be different from your, you know, your, your season player. So if you want to be the Dolphins in free play, you can be the Dolphins in free play all the time. And then you want to play a season for the Chargers. You can do that in your own single player locker room and keep those things separate. That was kind of a big problem in the past two games. First with NFL Pro Era 1, if you switch jerseys or teams a lot, it would glitch out and like wouldn't be the team you wanted to be. It would... 
it would revert back to an old team that you haven't been on for a while and it was kind of annoying and nfl pro air 2 still had that they had it to where you had to change the team still but at least it didn't glitch out but now this year they're keeping it separate so you can customize your player and then have a different season mode if you want and if we actually look down here in their developer post this might add some structure to the season pass slash battle pass theory i had going Right here it says you'll have the option to purchase monthly seasonal uniforms and gear to further customize your avatar. Now, are they talking about they're going to have an in-game store that updates monthly or they're going to have a monthly battle pass? I know a lot of people hate the word live service and personally I don't like them either, especially for console games. But for a VR multiplayer NFL football game, I... I don't know, I, I somehow think it's gonna work. Because there's not much you can do, you can only really add cosmetics, unless they hide like, let's say they add a kick return mode or something behind that paywall, then that's something I don't agree with. But if it's just cosmetics and things like that, then I mean, who cares, you don't need cosmetics to play the game. Fortnite cosmetics are like $20 a piece, which is insanity. So if you really want to spend an extra $2 for some pink gloves, that's on you. You don't have to do that to, you know, have fun in that this game. It's not going to change the game experience for anyone, which is why I think the live service model is going to work. And there's not much more news I could bring to you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll answer basically anything or anything I can answer. And just a couple things I want to go over here at the end again. I think I've said this in the past before, but... Status Pro, please, please, I'm on my knees begging, please stay with this game all year. It seems like that's what you guys are doing with already coming out with update plans for December. And with the new, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll just call it the Status Pass. That That's a good name for it, right? The Status Pass? If you're going to do a monthly Status Pass, then it seems like you're going to be updating this game constantly throughout the year, which is another reason why I think the live service model is going to work for this game. But please stay with your game all year. Uh, this might sound selfish because I'm a creator, but it doesn't just have to be me. There's tons of people that create uh, videos for this game. I already put a whole bunch of links to YouTubers that create uh, NFL Pro Era content in my last football update video. But this year, hopefully they do something with the content creators. There's a lot of people that love uploading this game, and it does have a... It doesn't have a huge community, but the people in the community are very passionate about the game, especially the viewers that watch the videos, which thank you guys for watching my videos. And I see it when I get in the NFL Pro Era lobbies when people are like, oh, Axolotl, it's you. I wish a whole community of uh, NFL Pro Era players could be recognized like that. That would be really cool, and I think it would help boost this game into the mainstream. It'll definitely get the word out there for this game, so that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll keep you guys updated if they come out with any news. No release date yet. They said sometime in fall, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.